environmentalism. The current form of the continuation of the race science that culminated in Hitler is today's environmentalism. The environmentalist movement is a direct outgrowth of the eugenics race science movement. Because Hitler had made eugenics unpopular, the proponents of eugenics merely shifted to creating the same movement under a different name. Two well-known examples of this are Margaret Sanger, founder of Planned Parenthood, and the grandson of Thomas Huxley, Julian Huxley. Julian Huxley, who, before Hitler, was the leading activist in Great Britain of the eugenics movement. The common mother of both is their empiricist-driven interpretation of the human inability to produce more than is required to maintain the population, and their empiricist-driven classification of fixed categories that are genetically determined. To the environmentalist, nature or ecology is composed of a fixed classification of species and attributes that are in stable equilibrium and which human development is changing and disturbing. Thus, the endless growth of human society is the disturbing enemy of nature and ecology. Somehow this endless growth must stop. Nature is being destroyed and a proper balance must be established, similar to the balance other species have with nature. The underlying assumption here is at the core of empiricism. One is outlawed in being able to demonstrate the Socratic process that humans are not animals. Further, that the universe is creative and mankind is part of the ongoing creation. Empiricism, which is at the core of liberalism, is at the essence of the emergence of environmentalism from race science. The fact that environmentalism and race science are twins with the same mother can also be seen in the views of Adolf Hitler, who ardently believed in going back to nature once the world had been conquered. Hitler's vision was to reduce the world's population to such an extent that the master race would be able to live in communal villages living in equilibriums with nature. That was Hitler's cherished vision. And that vision has not changed with respect to the current view of today's oligarchical families at the center of current efforts to use the claims of the climate emergency to reshape the world in the same image, the same as the idyllic village life vision of Hitler.